everyone. Welcome to Quick Count. My name is Scott Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. Today we are taking a look at the Royal Rumble match from WWF Royal Rumble 1995. Um, originally, I wasn't going to do this one. Um, I was going to instead do um, the casket match between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker uh, from Royal Rumble 98. Um However, um, I'm essentially switching um, an HBK for an HBK, you know, an eye for an eye here. Um, and I think this one is uh, this one is memorable for a couple of reasons, uh, which we'll get to as uh, we go along. Um, anyway, you can find where to watch this match and more details in the description below. And here we go. Mmm. Uh, the Fink is introducing the special guest hostess, uh, Pamela Anderson. Wow. Uh, yeah, the... <laughs> So whoever wins the Royal Rumble uh, the, this year will be escorted by Pamela Anderson uh, to their match at WrestleMania. She seems incredibly out of the out of her element. Um, props to her for getting in the ring. Obviously, this is mid nineties. Um, so, K, so kayfabe is still real, but, um, oh, episode not sponsored by Starbucks, but it could be. Ah, uh, time for the Royal Rumble match. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, the big, uh, the main thing that sticks out here for this Royal Rumble is that instead of 90 minutes or 90 seconds, excuse me, or two minutes uh, for each entrant, um, the big one here was that uh, they came out every 60 seconds. Every minute we got another person, and uh, this, this makes this the shortest. Royal Rumble in WWF history. Um, the talent pool was incredibly low. Um, we're in the mid-90s here, so the battle between WWF and WCW is really ramping up around this time. Um, but still, uh, you know, they were very much... WWF was very much uh, trying not to double dip. As we get number two, excuse me, number one, we had HBK Shawn Michaels. Number two, we get the British Bulldog. Ah, Bulldog gets Pyro. Not as big of a pop as we saw in 92, but still definitely a fan favorite here. Um, so n nobody, oh, and it, Shawn Michaels right to work here. Uh, nobody double dipped in, in, in this year's rumble. Um, big back body drop from Bulldog. 
So, so no Jeff Jarrett, no Razor Ramon, no Undertaker, no IRS, no Diesel, no Bret Hart, no One Two Three Kid, no Bob Holly, Bam Bam Bigelow, Tatanka, none of, none of them. So. You take that those those men away, and then this is what you're left with. Um, Vince McMahon also calls this the fastest the, the this Royal Rumble will be the most fast paced um, of all time. As we're going to get number three, number three is Eli Blue. Um, also known as one half of the Harris brothers. The Harris brothers withstood the test of time, honestly. Uh, I know they would definitely go... Um, on to be Skull and Eight Ball um, in the height of the Attitude Era. Um, as we get to a, another participant, we're coming up on number four. And Duke the Dumpster Drossy in at number four. Oh, jeez. Stiff boot to the face. Um... When the Harris brothers would leave WWF, they would jump to WCW. They would make, um, um, they would be a part of Jeff Jarrett's stable. Uh, he would essentially be their security. Um, I mean, just kind of lackeys. Um, very similarly, um, gosh, what's the team I'm thinking of? Um, the Bashams. There you go. The Bashams. As we... We are inside of 10 seconds again. Here we are for number five. And we got that number five, Jimmy Del Rey. Uh, Jimmy Del Rey, one half of the Heavenly Bodies, being accompanied by Jim Cornette. Crowd also for this, dead. Inside of 10 seconds again. We are coming up on number six. Ah, number six is Sioni, also known as the Barbarian. Why are we trying? Why Why are we doing this? Okay, the Barbarian can still be the Barbarian. Ah, Jimmy Del Rey eliminated. Call him Sione if you want, but the Barbarian in 92 is still the Barbarian in 95. When he goes to WCW, he's the Barbarian. Inside of five seconds now for our next participant. Oh, the other half of the Heavenly Bodies. Uh, Tom Pritchard.
Tom Pritchard, obviously related to Bruce Pritchard. Um, right now, the bane of everyone's existence on Monday Night Raw. Absolutely terrible. You know, that's another thing. Um, it was just a moment ago where we saw a spot uh, with the Barbarian and Shawn Michaels as we get to yet another participant. Um, let's see who it is. Doink the Clown. Doink the Clown in at number eight. Um, multiple times in these Royal Rumble matches, we'll see a press slam, and then instead of just hawking them over the top rope, they just hit, hit a body slam or a power slam of some sort. Um... You know, it kind of makes your character look a little, a little silly at times. But I mean, you know, suspension of disbelief. Inside of ten seconds, again. Ah, the martial art expert, Quang. Ah, uh, Quang in at number nine. Fastest paced WWF Royal Rumble matchup. Um, crowd still dead. Slight pop for Doink. Um, and then just the number one and the number two entrant. But other than that... Crowd's dead. You know what? And here's the other thing. It's not exciting. Inside of 10 seconds yet again. Ah, the model, Rick Martel, in at number 10, and we are a third of the way through the 1995 Royal Rumble. Only one elimination just far, and that has been Jimmy Del Rey. Yeah, but what I was saying just a moment ago, it's not exciting. You know, there's a lot of grunting and punching and a lot of trying to get people over the top of rope for moments upon moments of time as we approach number 11. Number 11 is Owen Hart. Oh, and from behind is Brett the Hitman Hart taking it to his little brother. Remember, uh, we just saw, um, if you recall from the ref bump, uh, episode two of that, um, where we watched Royal Rumble 94, so just a year before this, Owen Hart made his heel turn, took out Brett's knee. They had that excellent match at WrestleMania 10. As we approach number 12. Timothy Well, um, part of Well Done, as we are starting to fill up here. Oh, Duke the Dumpster Drossy, taken out by HBK. And not sure 
what happened if it was an accident or if it was done intentionally. Also, Timothy Well out of the match. The model Rick Martell out of the match. Eliminations right and left. Um, and doink on as we approach the next participant. Doink is gone. And we get Bush, Whacker, Luke, and everybody else has been eliminated other than Shawn Michaels and the British Bulldog. They cut away for a split second and everyone is gone. And Shawn disposes of the Bushwhacker. But anyway, Duke the Dumpster Drossy gets back body drop to the outside. Um... Essentially, the lower half of his body hits Earl Hebner in the head. Um, scary spot. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was by accident, but... Ah, big suplex by the Bulldog. Oh. Uh, ah, God, a clothesline. Number 14 is Jacob Blue. And crowd still dead. <laughs> like, it, it, and it's not, and I'm, and oh, he gets dumped by Sean. As we are back to just the number one and the number two entrant. You know what, and I hate whipping a dead horse here, but this is what happens when your Royal Rumble is not exciting. We are inside of 10 seconds until number 15, and we will be officially halfway through the Rumble. Oh, no. Number 15 is Mr. Five Count himself, King Kong Bundy. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on right now. Bundy is on the Bulldog, who's on the rope. We're inside of 10 seconds. As we come upon number 16. Mo for Men on a Mission, and his mission is that he is gone. Oh, man. Eliminated by King Kong Bundy just as soon as he came in. He ran in, ran at King Kong Bundy, back body drop to the outside, in, out. It's it's crazy how not so deep the talent pool is here. No, and I don't know why they didn't just double dip. I think just the addition of some of those bigger names that were in the show earlier. As we come up to seventeen, it is Mabel. Yeah, just the addition of some of those bigger names, you know, I feel like would have elevated this just a little bit. And two big men in the center of the ring squaring off. 
Mabel and KKB. Oh, Mabel trying to eliminate King Kong Bundy. Ooh. And here comes Bushwhacker Butch. Oh, King Kong Bundy is eliminated. Mabel stays with it after getting him over the top rope. King Kong Bundy getting perched on the apron. Gets the job done. Shawn Michaels eliminates the other Bushwhacker. And we have only three men in this match. We are approaching number 19. Lex Luger, huge pop. Biggest one since the beginning of the match. He went right after Mabel. And he, oh, throws Mabel right over the top with ease. And this is the, and, okay, to my point earlier, Lex Luger just pressed Shawn Michaels over his head, threw him in the ring instead of out. I don't know. Here comes number 20. Who's this? Ah, uh, number 20 is Mantar. Oh my gosh. What? 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 Are you serious? Mid-90s WWF was a sight for sore eyes. Like, between, like, 94 and 97, there was something that happened. As we come up on number 21... Aldo Montoya in at number 21. Uh, Aldo Montoya, also known as Just Incredible. PJ Polacco, he is in the Royal Rumble. Oh, Aldo Montoya, the Portuguese Man of War. Uh, we have Sean and the Portuguese Man of War going at it. Uh, Luger and the Bulldog working on Mantar. <sighs> Henry O. Godwin. Um, the hog farmer himself in at number 22. So still, 
we're really looking at three people. Because you really think Mantar is going to win the Royal Rumble? No. We're looking at British Bulldog, Shawn Michaels, Lex Luger. Pamela Anderson looks so confused We're inside of 10 seconds. Uh, they they pan to her and she's like, Ah, I'm an ad man. Bow, bow. At number 23, it is Billy Gunn. Of course, Billy Gunn, one half of the smoking guns. Inside of 10 seconds, once more. On number 24. Wow. Bart Gunn in at number 24. Big momentum swing here potentially having both um, of the guns in at this point. Inside of 10 seconds, one more time. And up on number 25. Mr. Bob Backland here at number 25. Bret Hart back out again, attacking this time Bob Backlund, laying in the right hands as officials are trying to separate them once more. Coming up on 26 here. Oh, God. Number 26 is Stephen Dunn. Ah, oh, Bob Backlund's out! Bret Hart and Bob Backlund up the rampway, going at it again. Coming up on number 27. Number 27, Dick Murdoch. Uh, 
Uh, double feature, they show Bal Backlund getting clothesline from behind over the top rope. This was one of Dick Murdoch's last matches. Here we go, number 28. Wow. Adam Bomb. And at number 28, but Dick Murdoch. Um, after this, uh, he wrestled Wahoo McDaniel. In a black and white legends match at Slambury that same year. And then only two independent matches that same year. Moments away from number 29. Ah, thought two in at number 29. And look, this is head shrinker thought two. This isn't, you know, this isn't make a difference thought two, okay? Mantar is eliminated. A lot of people in this match still. Eight seconds from number 30. Number 30 is Crush. Crush eliminates both of the smoking guns. He's in there with Dick Murdoch, British Bulldog, uh, Henry Godwin, Make a Difference, Fought Two, Aldo Montoya, Shawn Michaels, British Bulldog, and Adam Baum. One of these men will be the Royal Rumble winner and have Pamela Anderson accompany them to their match at WrestleMania. Again, just a lot of the same punches, moves, grapples. Not exciting. Four foreshadowing <laughs> um, King uh, the king on commentary with Vince um, the king is deciding between two people that he's trying to predict to win this match um, and Vince says you can only pick one but then King retorts oh two well, people won the last, last year McMahon and then of course Vince says Ah, we'll never have two people with their feet hitting the floor at the same time ever again.
Ah, Crush survives, catches himself on the apron, and slides right back in. What is Dick Murdoch doing? Oh, Adam Bomb is gone. Eliminated by Crush. Ah, Fatu hangs on. Ah, Portuguese Man of War is gone. Dick Murdoch trying to capitalize and eliminate Shawn Michaels, but Lex Luger makes the save. Ah, Crush eliminates, make a difference, spot two. We are down. Go back to the wide shot. We are down to six. Shawn Michaels, Dick Murdoch, Henry O. Godwin, Lex Luger, Crush, and the British Bulldog. As we just see Dick Murdoch with a beautiful looking dropkick to Mr. H.O.G. Airplane spin from Dick Murdoch. Oh, shoot. Wow. Doing the air, airplane spin. Godwin's feet get thrown into Shawn Michaels' face. Both, both Godwin and Dick Murdoch tumble over the top rope. Murdoch is out. Godwin saves himself, holding onto the rope, skinning the cat. And now we are down to five. Clothesline out of the corner from Luger. Ah, Luger dumps Godwin over the top rope. We are down to our final four. We have number one, Shawn Michaels. Number two, the British Bulldog. Number 19, Lex Luger. And number 30, Crush. All still in the Royal Rumble match. Wow. Michaels and Crush trying to work to eliminate Lex Luger. Luger fights out of it. Oh. 
Ah, oh, Luger's eliminated! By Crush and Shawn Michaels. And now Shawn Michaels trying to strike some kind of deal with Crush to get the British Bulldog out of this match. Shawn Michaels. Trust me, cross, cross my heart. This is the first time anybody from number one or number two is still in this match at this point. Oh, Crush is the one to turn on Shawn Michaels. Oh, no! Crush eliminated by the Bulldog. Crowd is hot for this. We are down to number one and number two. At the end of this match, Crush has Shawn Michaels up. Michaels fights out of it. Ducks out of the way. British Bulldog comes. Knocks Crush over the top rope. Crouched on the top rope. Bulldog off the ropes. Close lines. Michaels over the top rope. Michaels is still hanging on. British Bulldog's music is playing. British Bulldog is the winner of the 1995 Royal Rumble. HBK back in. Knocks Bulldog out of the ring. What is going on? Now the bell rings. They're declaring Shawn Michaels the winner. Only one of Shawn Michaels' feet hit the floor as he was skinning the cat. That makes the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, the true winner of the Royal Rumble in 1995. Um, I'm going to give this a one count. Um... Honestly, with all of the in-ring action, it's a half count. Um, with um, with this with this finish, I'm boosting it to a one count. Um, this is now the reason why the rule, and you see, and they actually show the video footage. Both referees are on the outside. They are right on top of the action. Earl Hebner and Tim White. Both on it. As now Shawn Michaels in the ring with Pamela Anderson. Celebration. Um, but yeah, now that this is the reason now that it is such an overemphasis of both feet must hit the floor. Um, has now become, it, it's, it's now become Royal Rumble trope here. Um, the Kofi Kingston spots where feet don't hit the floor. Um, Shelton Benjamin. Uh, very recently, as far as the women's rumbles go, uh, Casey Catanzaro, uh, Naomi. Um, but this is what started it. This one here. Um, 
But no, uh, the other hit part of history being um, Shawn Michaels is the first uh, individual to start at number one and go the distance. Um, but yeah, um, so this gets a one count for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Quick Count. Uh, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and all of our social media platforms. If you really enjoyed this episode and would like to support us, please check out our Kofi page for more. If you would like updates on what is coming up next for any of my shows, please feel free to join my Discord. All of those links are in the description below. Once again, my name is Cod Sinclair. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.